for it TV. The world is thinking. I had a quick question because you described your process of brewing, um, but that's not what I get when I go drink a Bud or a Miller or a Coors. They have a different process, don't they? And well, uh, I mean, it's at its core, it's the same. You know, it's the end product isn't. <laughs> no, I think I think that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> at the end of the day, we're all producing a fermented barley product, or they're producing a fermented barley and rice product. But uh, uh, are you serious, rice? Yeah, uh, Budweiser is like forty nine percent rice or forty seven percent rice or something like that, um, because it has less beer taste to it. It's <laughs> it's less beery. Um, <laughs> but I hear it has more drinkability. Exactly. <laughs> It's it's closer to water. I mean, <laughs> it's uh, and I and I, I like I, you know I went through a brewing science program and I and I really respect and appreciate that they're working with an agricultural set of agricultural products that you know are by nature full of differences and 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 from batch to batch and field to field and they're what they're doing is they're applying science to a process that doesn't want to be the same every time and they're making it the same every time and there's some sort of scientifically impressive aspect to that, but it also feels like science misapplied or misguided because it's like you have all this power to, you have the world's greatest lab equipment in any brewery and you have, you know, the best brewing scientists and you have all, you have all these resources and that's what you're doing with it. You know, you're making beer that your marketing department says will sell more because it's less filling and people don't, it doesn't offend very many people. 